This is rear plate of main control unit. And as you see, that's link one, link two, and link three. It's connect to conference microphone unit port. And one link can connect up to 25 units. And then here is a loudspeaker that's master volume control of built-in loudspeaker of chairman and delegate unit. And the next one, standby, that's standby port. And then here is also a speed dome RS485 port. And there is another RS232 port. On the bottom of rear plate, you can see that's mic 1 to mic 4, dynamic microphone input terminal. And here is mic 4, volume control knob. If you plug microphone in mic 1 terminal, then you can adjust the volume by mic 1 knob in the front panel. And next to the microphone terminals, here is aux input. And there are three external sound input terminals. And for this conference out, if you input the aux in this conference out, then attendees can hear the voice from their own built-in speaker of microphone units. Here is aux out and variable. They are directly sound output terminal controls the output volume. But the difference between them is aux out cannot control by master volume knob and variable can control by master knob And then you can see there's equalizer. That's external sound treatment auxiliary terminal. The factory setting is in out short circuit direct output. From here, you can see the words speaker 8 ohm. This is low resistance at ohm speaker signal output terminal. And this one is AC power input socket. And under it, you can see AC 110, 220 voltage input voltage selection switch. For example, we are now in Taiwan, and Taiwan power is 110 voltage. So we switch it to write, then when you see 110 voltage, which means it is now can operate.